Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1095. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1095 to 1097, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1092, we started to count from a column of numbers, and we wanted to count how many duplicates there are. So there's 255s, 262, so we needed to get a total count of two. Triples, quadruples, quintuples. But here's the formula I use, count ifs. And Dim King from YouTube said, hey, it's better to use the frequency function. And it is. And the reason why is for a, a large data set, count ifs will blow up your computer. It'll take thousands of times longer for calculating. And we'll look at a, a larger data set in just a second to prove that. But let's do our formula with frequency on the small data set, because then we can see how the frequency function works. Now, normally, you give it an array of numbers and then bins. Those are the upper categories for counting within a bin. And frequency will give you the count. But here's the deal. We can give frequency data array, Control shift down arrow, F4, comma, and the bins array. Control shift down arrow F4, the same exact ranges, and it will count, it will in essence give us an array of numbers that will indicate a unique count for each number. And the cool thing about frequency is when it hits duplicates, it only lists the count in the first one. So for example, when we evaluate this, 55 will show 2, 62 will show 2, this will show 0, 0. Let's highlight this and hit F9. And there we go, 2, 2, 4, because there's four 37s and a 0. That's beautiful. Not only is it easier than the count ifs, but it's going to calculate more quickly than the count ifs. I'm just simply going to say, hey, that array, are you equal to that? Now, this will give me trues and falses, F9. I want to count the trues, so I'm going to say inside of some product. I need to convert those trues and falses to ones and zero. Any math operation will do it. Double negative tends to be the fastest calculating. I'm going to put parentheses because I want to force that equal sign to calculate before the double negative. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, let's go look at a big data set. You are not going to believe this. Here it is, control down arrow. So I only did 5,000, about 5,000 records. And the reason why is count ifs will blow up. It'll take like a minute or something to calculate. Watch this. When I hit Enter on this, watch. Do, 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 do. That took a long time. Watch this frequency. Enter. It calculates. And if you time it, I went ahead and timed these formulas. It took 2.12 seconds to calculate the count ifs and 0 0.033 to count the frequency. If you want your own code, to, calc to time formulas, there it is, Charles Williams, Excel MVP. There's this amazing link to get the code. Now, actually, I discussed the difference between count if and frequency in my book, Control Shift Enter Chapter 17, and in this video. If you want to look at a bunch of examples and timing of big data sets for frequency and count ifs, there's my Control Shift uh, Enter video number 18. All right, thanks to Dim King for pointing out frequency is the way to go in this situation, not count if. All right, we'll see you next video.